Hi, today we're gonna tackle this 80 cell sunset animation. I have uploaded it on my Instagram earlier. If you like it, go like it and also give me a follow. So let's start with the tutorial. For this, you're gonna need Blender 2.8. So if you don't have it, download it from blender.org and jump right in. Now, add a plane. Hit and add a new modifier. Uh, use ocean modifier. Mm, this much is okay. Now add a spear. Select the spear and subdivide it. Give the smoothness of 1. Scale and position it up. Scale it as you like. Mm, right here. This looks okay. Add a camera. Control Alt 0 snap into view. Now position the camera so that uh, it should look like sunset. Uh, you know what I mean. Now you have to just play with the framing and uh, push the composition like you like you want to see the sunset. Okay, move. Let's move towards the shading. Remember to use EV renderer. Hit the wall settings and choose black. Now add an emission shader to the ball and make it orange. This is okay. Give the emission shader the strength of around 30. Let's go to bloom settings. Set it to um, uh, this much is okay. I guess. Yeah. Click on the ocean, the plane. Add new shader. Make roughness to zero. Okay, now we have the water. Now select the plane. Go to the ocean modifier settings to make it loop. So on timeline, make sure the end frame is set to 120 frames. In settings, make the frame rate 24 fps. I want it for 5 seconds so it needs to be 120 frames. Remember it's very important. So in modifier, right click on the time and insert keyframe. Go to the very end of the timeline. Set it to 5 and insert a keyframe. Ok, now we have this animation. Make sure scale is untouched leave it for now go to modifier and add another ocean modifier now don't do it anything until we change it from generate to displace now take this time we're gonna make it 5 and insert a keyframe go to the end of the timeline make it 10 and insert a keyframe so we are doubling it up. Now to make it loop, we are going to take these scales and make them opposites. Take the scale here, start at 0, insert keyframe, go to the end of the timeline, click 1 and insert keyframe. Now it goes 0 to 1. Uh, now come to the beginning of the timeline. Now go to the beginning of the timeline, go to this scale and we will do from 1, insert keyframe, to end of the timeline, 0, insert keyframe. And now we have a perfect loop. Now for exporting, uh, select that printer icon, change from PNG to FF MPEG video and here in encoding, change it to MP4, medium quality or high quality as you want. I'll go for high quality. Now hit render animation. Render, render animation. So uh, your animation is ready. Now just share it on social media and also tag me if you are along. Also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in another tutorial.